you runners, I am Mr. Murage. I'll be taking you through in uh, biology form one topic nutrition, subtopic absorption of nutrients in human alimentary canal. Um, as you are aware, we have dealt with the topic of uh, digestion of food and uh, digestion is that the breakdown of food into particles that can be absorbed. If absorption does not take place, then there will be no need of, of digestion. So what about uh, this that we are calling absorption? It is the, a process where food from the alimentary canal is enter because we cannot use the same one absorption to explain absorption. The food from the alimentary canal enters into the brain stream. Uh, how does this take place? Uh, let us have a small draft of the alimentary canal of a human being and show where this uh, absorption takes place. So very quickly, um, put down a very simple draft that is esophagus, the stomach, duodenum, ileum, then we have grand intestine and the anus. So, where does absorption take place? It's important for us to look. In the stomach, we have alcohol getting a hold there. We have water. We have mineral salt. mineral salts. These substances need not, are not digested. They are absorbed the way they are swallowed in the diet. When we come to the area, we have the glucose, we have amino acid, we have Fatty acids, fatty acids plus glycerol. Glycerol. Come to the colon, we have water. Now, also uh, here, we have the remaining mineral salts. Minerals, salts, salts plus vitamins so that the colon is mainly for the absorption of water afterwards then this is the, the lectum where undigested food awaits ingestion so that is those are the pieces in the alimentary canal where the absorption of food takes place. Now, the issue is, how is the alimentary canal of humans well adapted, well made to perfect this uh, process of absorption? Now, in order for us to understand that one, that is for the sake of understanding, we are going to put it in a kind of a table. Where we shall have three columns, one column for the structure, the other one for adaptation, and the last one for function. Function. 
Now, the function that we are dealing with now is absorption. So, we will not consider other functions of the alimentary canal like digestion, like peristalsis. So, we shall focus our attention on only one function of the alimentary canal, absorption. So, in all these areas, this absorption. The function is absorption of food. Then, the parts or the regions of the alimentary canal that is well made for absorption is none other than this region here. This is the region we have called the ileum. So, what are the adaptations of the ileum? So, adaptation number one is length. So, length. It is what happens um, that um, on average, human beings have an elementary canal that is seven meters long. So, it is very long, long, approximately 7 meters. If we calculate this, um, if we calculate the surface area, and uh, this one is meant to increase surface area, maybe you can have a very small calculation. If we project that to be the length, and then we assume the width is about three centimeters, length is seven meters. That means uh, if you convert that one to centimeters, you multiply by a hundred. That is seven hundred centimeters. It therefore means surface area equals length times length which is equal to 700 times 3 centimeters that equals 2100 centimeter square that is the surface area so the whole of that area if we assume it is a pipe that we have cut through and then we have spread it that is the whole surface where food will get absorbed. And the, the larger the surface, the better. Then, still, as you look at this elementary canal, it is not straight, it's coiled. And not just one coil. Huh? It's coiled like the springs uh, that uh, are used in most uh, machines. Eh? So, highly. Don't just say it is coiled, but highly coiled. And I want to put a remark here, not folded. There is a difference between 